Hi everyone, uh, I'm Jacopo. I've been living in London for just over four years now. Uh, I'm from Rimini, a small city in the north of Italy. My name is Alex and I've lived in London for about a year and a half now. And I'm Italian from Trieste, which is a small city near Venice. Hi, my name is Alessandro. I've been living in London for the past two years and a half. I'm originally from Italy. Hello everyone, my name is Daniel. I am 34 years old. My name is Elisabetta. I come from Genova, Liguria, in Italy. And I've been in London since August 2018. Hello everyone, my name is Martina, I am an Italian student, I come from Torino in the north of Italy. Ciao, I am Michele Ardo. Hi, I'm Mario, um, I live in London, uh, but I am from Italy, South Italy. I work in a gym as a fitness advisor, basically I do half a personal training job, half I look after the gym and basically I'm employed by the gym and now it's basically two days the, from yesterday so two days uh, I'm home because one of the first uh, thing they decided to close here are gyms as well as bars and restaurants unless they do takeaway and another thing I do is making music as you can see behind me so I that's my passion, what I love to do and what is, I hope is going to be my future job. And I came here mainly to study and to seek some job opportunities since I didn't have any substantial experience before coming here. And yeah, I've been working in coffee shops so far and I've had good experiences. Um, now I'm trying to make up my mind on what to study on, in Moody because I'm, I'm not sure about my choices so I'm still trying to figure it out but yeah, uh, we all try to do our best uh, so yeah, London is a nice place to start your life and seek some good opportunity. I was born and uh, raised in Rome, Italy. I'm an uh, Eritrean Italian citizen and uh, I'm happily married to my wife Naomi. Currently work in the sport, sports industry as an analyst. I'm, uh, as you can see, I'm working from home. I study biomedical sciences in, at the University of Kent in Canterbury and I also work in London. Uh, I have a part-time job in a shop where we sell supplements and vitamins. So I keep traveling every weekend back and forth. Um, I've been living here in UK for five years and I've always felt quite safe. I was born and raised in Sardinia, Italy in 1986. And since 2011, I do live in London where I work as a full-time artist. We are both employed right now. I am currently employed as a, an assistant manager at the casino. I'm London since the 9th, 9th October of the 2019 and uh, I leave my country because I need to, to find a, a good job first and change my life. Since the spread of coronavirus, I, I don't feel safe. I, I don't feel safe at all. The situation here um, until a few days ago was very underestimated, in my opinion. And now they're kind of taking it finally seriously enough. I stopped attending social ga gatherings or going to the gym or exposing myself too much as I've been following uh, the situation. In Italy I know the gravity of the, of the situation with the coronavirus. I think the UK government should have acted earlier because now we're in a bad situation and everyone is at home and we're gonna see what's gonna happen. As an Italian 
out of my hometown out of Italy, I obviously am worried because the situation in Italy is quite bad. I'm hungry and sad for for what the British government is doing right now. These days of coronavirus have been indeed among the hardest days for everybody and and probably for expats a little bit more. Even. Um, I don't like the way things were dealt with uh, here in UK, despite the example of China and Italy where cases are spreading very fast. And most of all, the hospitals are overwhelmed. This is the, the huge problems that probably uh, UK will face as well quite shortly. Because I guess the NHS is not working very well already thanks to all the cuts which have been done and uh, with so many people here I'm sure there will be a crisis probably there is already what the British government did here is just um, it's just appalling yeah if you think like citizens life depends upon it what they did is unbelievable i think i think that the government uh, started like poorly in taking the emergency seriously so that's why we we are at this point right now locked down um, we can't go out we can't we can't do anything except um, do the shopping or go to the pharmacy or doing some exercises once a day I have family and friends of course in Italy so and uh, because of that I think that the, the way the UK government is taking the coronavirus is not as effective because they are simply suggesting people to or advising people not to go out or or to keep distancing, uh, to keep uh, social distances. But I don't think in this case it can be as effective as it as it has been in China, where they uh, kind of force people to stay home or to avoid any uh, contact or I mean. Uh, so yeah, what I think, what I hope, is that uh, the UK government will will take uh, will take a stronger approach to the situation in order to to make us all feel safer. Nothing has been done until now. I mean, all the restaurants were full, pubs, parks, everyone is outside until a few days ago. So of course now. The situation has gone worse in just a few days. Uh, it's like a uh, number of infected, number of deaths are going up every day. And especially in the north of Italy, where hospitals can't cope with the amount of patients that are coming in every day on a daily basis. Um, well, I think also like here in, in London, uh, the sea lies, even though there's first things they started to shut down it keeps going on quite normally and it worries me a bit in the fact that they can see what's happening in Italy and that is like you're able to see ahead in the future and I don't feel like the measures that they're taking are enough like I see coffee shops even though they said uh, to be closed uh, they still open doing only takeaway because they go away doing this thing. I think most of the chains, uh, I know Cafe Nero or Costa are still open. And I'm a little worried because I'm still working. Even though it's a uh, customer service and it's only takeaway for now, um, I'm, I think we're gonna be closed uh, very soon. And um, so I don't feel safe at all because I have to keep going to work, I have to keep speaking with people and I have to take a bus and the train all the time, which is still packed of people. 
I, I'd rather be in Italy right now because despite the cases which are growing, I not only would be with my family, of course, but I could stay home, I could stay safe and I would be surrounded by people who is aware of the situation. While here in UK, I still hear people who think this is a normal flu and we will, will be all right. I know it's not possible to stop the economy from one day to another, so to ask shops to close from one day to another, but this is an emergency and people should be prioritized. This is what happened in Italy and I'm very proud of it um, because despite the economy which is already broken and a lot of problems, the government decided to prioritize people. Uh, the way that uh, our ambassador spoke to us here in the UK, reassuring us, helping us to, you know, to get all the instructions we needed, helping those who needed to go back to Italy to, to fly back. It's not easy to find what you need, like on a regular shop, to eat. You go to the shops, the shelves are mostly empty. Uh, yes, for example, I had to take my bike and go around the three different grocery shops to get what I needed. So, hopefully we're gonna get back to normal very soon. But... I think that for the next, let's say for the next uh, five or six months, everything will be freeze in this situation. We will not be able to fly somewhere. I hope this situation will end soon. Um, in the meantime, I, I try to be very careful, clean my hands every time. The only way to stop this is staying home and trying to avoid contacts, unfortunately. In these kind of situations, you always want to stay close to your family. And yeah, so living abroad sometimes is not the best. <laughs> I really hope that it's they're gonna take all measures and um, and help to stop this outbreak. Uh, about my job, um, yes, I'm home now. Uh, we just had some meetings, so I will carry on doing part of my job uh, on uh, video chats. So we'll have uh, we'll take uh, classes and one-to-one -one sessions on video chats. So that's a way that will help me to keep going and because we don't know how long we want to be going back to the gym or to, to work anyway. Well, thanks God my university is closed and everything was moved online so all the exam and everything is going to happen anyway even though it's very hard to focus right now because of reading the news all the time and worrying for my parents and my friends which are in Italy and they're struggling. We are very lucky that we are not used to think that these things can happen to us. We are not used to think that we are in danger of anything. We are never, never in worry that the food is not gonna get on the table. I hear my parents basically every day now, uh, where well, I usually didn't do it. Uh, they're okay, uh, they're home. Um. So I really hope this will end soon and people will wake up here in UK. Otherwise, I will definitely consider if this is the place where I want to be. That's my story and uh, can't wait to hear yours, guys. Thanks, bye. I wish a great day to everybody and I wish good luck and to stay safe. Thank you for your time and keeping safe. Cheers.